Welcome back everyone. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. Um, another Minecraft stream. Let's go. Um, let me see what you guys are saying. There we go. Okay, I have it on my second monitor. I'm using my second monitor, I promise. Hi everyone. Welcome everyone. Merry early Christmas. Um, hi Dasha, hi Sia, hi Stardust, hi Candy, hi Daisy, hi Sarah, hi LPS, hi Holly, hi Dasha again, hi Beryl. Hello Bear. Hi V. Hi Z Zakaya. I, I think I okay. I think I asked to say it last time. I do. That's a very familiar name. Hi Caddy. Hi Gwen. Hi Kiana. Hi Estellis. Welcome everyone. No ads. Okay. Well, that's YouTube at this point. I mean, I can't really do anything about that. But if you guys want to watch through the ads, it really does help. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. I love you too. Hi, Acid. Hi, Harper. Hi, Scout. Hi, Alexia. So today I'm going to be building or working on the barn that is going to be for my viewers. So it's a very special barn. Um, I'm going to be trying to make the entrance and some of the outdoor stuff as well today and work on some of the pastures and the surrounding wildlife because I want you guys to be able to not only have a barn but pastures and an arena as well. That way you guys can just schematic it onto your property. Um, I'm going to see if that's possible, but if it's not, I can obviously leave some schematics separate, like the schematic arena or a schematic pasture that you guys can just put in separately. Um, and I will be releasing a video before it, it, the barn itself is released, if you guys are curious, because I'll be showing you guys how to put it on your world. So don't worry about any of that. Um, I do understand a lot of people are worried of like, oh, I won't be able to get the barn because I have to pay for it. This will be a free barn. It's not going to be paid for at all. I will be offering paid barns in the future, but... Um, Definitely don't have to worry about having to pay for this one because I want to build it with you guys in mind And I also want to thank you guys for being so supportive recently. So thank you for that. Oh This is the first stream you've got in welcome. Welcome to the first stream. There are bats everywhere and I'm sorry if you guys hear that um, We're in the flat world right now. This is a schematic world um, the schematic dimension this dimension is the sole purpose of this dimension is to uh have schematics on it that way we can just you know select it and upload it that way you guys can have a clean build with no surrounding mountains or anything thank you joel for the four months member of royal peach keep up the hard work i'll try you also keep up the hard work joel has been working hard getting his twitch and youtube set up for streaming definitely go and support him he's having a stream tonight at 9 p.m central for lake so if you guys are interested in that game feel free to check that out Mary Chrysler. Hi there, hi there. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Love your skin, thank you. 
Thank you for joining, Ali. Can you do breeding? I'm not going to be doing breeding this video. I'm going to be doing building, but I do have a breeding video coming out soon. Uh, thank you, Dasha, for the $2 donation. Um, how do you save a build and put it somewhere else? So this barn was moved to this uh, dimension using a command block, but you can also use like your slash, uh, slash one, sorry, and then like select like first position and then second position up here. And then you can go to any part of the barn up against slash slash copy, and then you'll do slash slash paste, which I'm not going to do obviously because it's going to paste the whole build, but you can move, um, any sort of build to any part on the map, but this was moved with a command block. Riley did it for me. Credits to Riley. She's amazing. Um, because I can't do it very well and it needed to be moved to the correct dimension. I'm going to delete these because I need to redo them. But yeah, um, Jessica did volunteer to help with building certain parts of the special barn. So I'm going to have a, a fun little team soon. And we only have eight stalls here, so I'll actually probably end up removing one for grooming and tack. So these two stalls will probably be removed. Grandma, oh my gosh, wait. We believe. Sorry, I wanted to pause the music. That was Jessica singing. Grandma got run over by a reindeer for my don't know sounds. <laughs> the barn looks so good. Thank you. Thank you. So let's get started. Um, so, okay. I'm going to explain something. I I was talking to Jessica. We were here at the barn. Um, we were actually here in the old world. And I found out that uh, I had made something uneven. So in order to fix it, I had to like delete half the barn and then like repaste it. So some things are like inconsistent. Um... You guys will- you guys may see some inconsistencies. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and make the stall doors like that. I'm gonna change these mid-build because I love when the stall doors are further back so there's like a space before it. Actually, okay, hear me out. Does that look better? Hi, just joined. What's going on? I am building a barn for my viewers and I'm continuing it right now. Live on live stream. <laughs> yeah, um, definitely make sure that your Java has enough allocated uh, RAM because if you don't have enough RAM allocated, right, your your PC, your, your Minecraft, not your PC, your, your Minecraft won't be able to handle a lot of stuff including wor big world edit edits um right now i'm using a six gigabyte server from bisect and it's able to handle a lot so yeah um this was was this medium it was light rubber mats i'm gonna do replace this is swim light rubber mats and i'm gonna replace it with uh is it cyan Cyan glass bricks? Yeah, it was cyan. Okay, I'm gonna guess that it was cyan. And I'm doing replace because I don't want to set because there are other blocks underneath. I'm gonna do that on both sides. That way there are light bricks and then one back there's padding. So I'm gonna fi finish all the doors. No, wrong thing in my hand. Oopsies. You're not late, don't worry. You're never late to a stream. I understand that you guys all have obligations during the day. You joining my stream, it's it's not not a a must do like other things. It's just a calming moment. I won't hate you guys if you aren't able to join the stream. No worries. Anybody is welcome at any time. Bye Candy. Thank you so much for joining. Um okay, so the thing, the things that were uneven, right, is that there's, there's one over here and one over here, and then there's two right here, right? So there's two, two, before, right, there was three right in the middle, 
and Jessica noticed it and it wasn't meant to be that way. It was slightly uneven, but now we have the uneven part of right here. <laughs> So the whole barn is kind of uneven, so I'm going to have to move it, I'm thinking, um, one block forward. Because I don't know what else to do. Actually, I need to go further back than that. I need to go further down is what I meant, sorry. And I do not want to release an uneven barn in any way. At least intentionally, like, that I knew of. Um... See, I don't really know how to fix this. Um, okay, so it's been, meant to be on the edge. Oh. All I have to do is this. Right? Yeah. I'm just going to connect it this way. Yeah, it's not, like, it's it's a free barn, yeah, for my viewers, but I'm not gonna, like, move out of the way, please, thank you. I'm not gonna, like, not try my hardest to make it as best as possible for you guys. Like, I'm not gonna be like, oh, they're not paying for it, so I'm not gonna work that hard on it. No, like, I'm, it's, it's meant to be, like, a, a thank you barn, like, a project barn, you know? So, I'm not, I'm not trying to make it, like, uneven at all. Thank you, Mealy. Have a good day. It is a must do. Oh my gosh, you're committed. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay, so those are even. Um, I may change up there soon. And then we have to do lighting. I'm um, gonna do... Probably gonna do spruce for the posts because I want to have beams and stuff. I'm gonna do spruce log wall and then spruce stripped wall and then I'm gonna have chains and lanterns. And I'm gonna be doing... I want to stick to... I want to stick to vanilla Minecraft plus like swim and SWDM. I want to have as, as little mods as possible using this all of this stuff. Because, hear me out, um, I don't want you guys to have to download, like, five extra mods in order to get this barn. So, this barn's probably going to be, like, simple, you know. Actually, I want to do it this way. What are you doing for Christmas? Um, not sure. I know my brother's coming for Christmas, and then I'm not sure how long he's staying. Um... We don't really have anything planned. We're actually going to be putting up the Christmas tree tonight, which is a little late because we had to do some moving around with furniture and I'm not sure furniture, but more of like storage items. So um, I'm very excited for that. I'm not sure if I like this. I'm not going to lie. I don't like that being... I just want like there to be like a mixture if possible. That does not look right. <laughs> there we go, that looks way better. After, so two after would be right here, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just building the roof beams right now to make it look a little bit more realistic in here. Watch, so I'm not gonna have a big Christmas tree this year. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like a lot of the Christmas tree tra tradition. I don't know. Like when you when you think of like a, a big extravagant family Christmas tree, it's like I feel like 
smaller Christmas trees are also cool. Like, I'm not saying that because you said that. I'm just, I thought about that the other day. And I'm like, honestly, if I live by myself, I would just have like a cute little Christmas tree. I don't want anything like big and fancy and cool. I feel like a lot of Christmas comes from like... Spending time with family and stuff. Okay, this is uneven. Does that look weird if I cover it? I feel like it, it does look a little weird if I cover it. If I just like leave it uncovered. I feel like, okay, if I do it this way. Sorry, I'm learning as I go. I'm learning what looks best. I think that's the fun thing about building on stream is because you guys visibly see my my brain working. Um, so it's definitely like a learning process with everything I build on stream. Okay, I'm gonna put a lantern down just for like light because I cannot see anything. Can't see anything in this barn. Okay, I'm gonna do one chain, two chains. I don't know, does that look weird? Yeah, we have a fake tree as well. Um, we used to do a real tree, but because of cost and everything and storage and actual like, cleanup, it, it does catch up to us. So we always, we always just take out our fake tree. I'm not sure how big our tree is though. I don't think it's very big. It's a very, very simple tree. Okay, I'm gonna copy and paste this and see if it works. Hoping for the best. Um, with my with my uh, horrible experience with having poor luck, it's probably not gonna work very well, but that's okay. Oh, this is the How to Train Your Dragon song. That reminds me of How to Train Your Dragon. Where is the, okay, it's one, two, three, okay. Sorry, I'm timing where to put this. Yeah, it's right here. Hear me out, guys, I'm, I'm trying my best. Oh, that is slightly uneven, isn't it? Well, no, it's one, two, okay, so. Okay, that slightly works. It's just dis disconnected in a way. Please tell me this is gonna work. Please work, please work. Ah! It's not gonna work. It's uneven. Let me figure out why it doesn't work. Okay, so it meets, meets the end, which is nice. Oh, that's why it didn't work. Even then though, I don't think it will work. Uh, it's one away. This one is what, two away? Two away. Okay, we can fix that. We can fix that. So that means we just need to have like a little middle part in between these two. Right. So instead of right here, right, we have like a little little extra part, maybe. No, that's not what I wanted to do. It needs to be right here then. It would need to go down one, so. Let me move this down one. Sorry if you can hear Kodiak. Oh, that's not how I did it. Sorry, I need to stick to the plan. Over here, designing a whole new design. Is this a barn you're doing for like other people to use? Yes, it will be uploaded most likely on Planet MC, but it'll be uploaded for you guys to download. Um, before I actually upload it though, I said this in the beginning of the stream and I'll say it again in case people are confused. I will be showing you guys how to get it. So don't worry on that part. Um, if you guys are like me, you 
worry a lot of like oh my gosh what if i do it wrong what if this happens what if that happens i will try my best to explain everything to you guys so that nobody is worried nobody breaks their entire minecraft world but i do suggest uh getting a backup of your world before you do it you know just in case You know what? Is it two? Yeah, it's two way. Okay. That's what I was hoping for. I thought it was three. I need to do paste by A. There we go. H1 I wanted to do. Oh. Paste by A. Paste by A. Did it work? Oh, that's like way further than I thought it would be. No, that's not going to work. Okay, so we're doing something wrong. We went the wrong direction that we wanted to go, which is okay. I have an idea. This reminds me of Harry Potter. I have a really good idea. I know it's Christmas, but it reminds me of Harry Potter. I'm sorry. I have an expert plan to make it look not weird. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Um. Take this. And we connect it down here and then we design it that way. So it's not like weird, you know? Now it doesn't look uneven. It looks cleaner. It feels better. Like I don't know. I don't I don't feel like it's it was just feeling weird. Like it was like, okay, I don't I don't think I did it right. You know that feeling of like, okay, I messed up somewhere. Yeah. I like that a lot better. And you guys, like, once you guys get this barn, feel free to edit it. Like, feel free to destroy half of it and redo it. Like, I'm, this barn is going to be for you guys to manipulate, you guys to move around, make your little pixelated barn however you like. I'm, I'm not one to judge. Okay, never mind. I didn't do it even, did I? Ah, shoot. Okay, you know what? The beam, the beam's going to have to be uneven for now. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. <sighs> okay. Well, oh wait, is it? No, yeah, no, it's just uneven in general. Is this one away? This one is one away, yeah. Slightly uneven. Okay. 
Your stable shall not be destroyed. I mean, if like somebody's like, I don't like these flowers, I want to remove them. Then they can like remove them and make they make them however they want, you know. Or if somebody's like, I don't like this flooring, it doesn't go with the barn. Like I personally want a different flooring, remove the flooring. Or if you're like, I don't like this entire stall side, I want to make it something different. Feel free to like practice on it too. Like if you want to change things, go for it. I'm not, I'm not gonna be questioning how you want to design your barn. But if you guys do download it, of course I would expect you guys to give credits, you know, like. I'm not gonna tell you guys like, oh yeah, it's your barn, do whatever you want with it. But if you guys do use the base, then definitely, um, definitely credit me. That would be great. I'm going to make this the tack room. I'm gonna work on that really quick. Let's see. Do you have like farm animal mods? Um, so all of my mods are in the description if you scroll down. I made sure to put them in the um, live stream today because I know a lot of people do want that and are interested in that. Um, I'm gonna put co concrete. Sorry, I had to burp like mid, <laughs> mid sentence. No, I guess it's a hiccup, I don't know. Same thing, right? Probably not. I just want it like a simple base. Cause like I said, I want you guys to be able to design everything. Um, what I'm gonna do here, right? Is I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna have like an opening where you guys can like walk out and see your horses and stuff. I'm gonna have a little tack up station by the way and the other. So this is gonna be the tack room. Over there, I'm gonna make this the tack room and then make this like the tack up area out here, huh? Isn't that a good idea? I think that's an amazing idea. I saw that on a barn like two weeks ago online and I was like, that is such a good idea. Like have your tack up station connected to your your tack room. That way you can just tack up your horse. Honestly, like practically with a big show barn, it's probably not the best idea. You want multiple tack up stations in case like people obviously like want to ride their horse at the same time and tack it up at the same time. But like single use for Minecrafts, I don't know. Also, what is your resource pack? That is so pretty. Um... Uh, all in the description, sorry. I was gonna go look by habit, but it's all in the description when I use. Let's see, gotta do the same thing over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste. Yeah, so see this entryway compared to the other ones because this has like a, a weird, this, okay, the wall is taken up once, like by one block right here, right? By this window, since it's a double block wall. So it looks uneven, but I promise it's not. So what I'm gonna do is make it even for this entryway. Me like begging you guys, like I promise this is a good this is a good barn. I promise. It's a light gray side. When you guys are like already fine with how it's looking. I defend my barns a lot for no reason. I think it's just a habit of like so used to people calling my barns ugly. <laughs> that sounds so sad, but like it's true. Um, actually, I want, I want like a spruce, wait, what do I have on here? I have something out here that helps with it, yeah. I want like a detailing in here that isn't siding because I don't want it to blend in. Here's the trap door. I'm going to go ahead and design this using the supplementaries pack as well because it's such like a basic, a basic pack in the way that I feel like it would be a good, a good add-in for this barn. So if you guys are wanting maybe me not to use a pack, then feel free to say that because I do not mind listening. I'm going to go ahead and do this. That does not look right. Um, and do flower box. Does it maybe look different? No, it still looks a little weird. I'm gonna do a trap door, but I'm gonna do it in a different style. I feel like the cottage trap door would look good. I kind of want like a covered post, kind of like that. No, oh, that just looks weird. I'm struggling here. I know everyone's like, oh no, your barn is so cute. Don't worry. And I'm like, please, 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 please <laughs> be nice to it. <laughs> everyone's being so nice. And I'm like, please, I'm trying my best here. 
You guys are fine, don't worry. It's just... It's that... Oh wait, that's kind of cute. It's like that barn... I don't want to say barn building trauma. That sounds weird. But you know like when you used to build a barn and your friends were like... It's an ugly barn, you know? Like I hope you don't have friends like that but at the same time. Okay, it's uneven on the outside now. So it looks even on the inside but it's uneven on the outside. But that's okay. I'm... Like I said, I'm not looking for anything super fancy. I just want you guys to have a nice barn to enjoy. I'm sure you guys aren't going to be like too worried about that you're better at building than me thank you I feel like building comes with time though so don't don't discredit yourself too quick peach I'm getting swam oh congratulations I feel like the chat is so quiet until today. You guys are always so quiet and sweet until today and other days. I mean, I don't know. I feel like my Friday through Sunday streams, when no matter what I'm doing, everyone's so sweet and like quiet and chill. And then like other days, it's like when I play really chaotic games, you guys also get chaotic. So it's great. You guys kind of fit the vibe no matter what it is, which is really nice. Hide the vines with flowers and they will never know. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, hide it with vines and flowers. I thought you said hide the vines with flowers. I'm like, what vines? Hold on. You are so right. I think if I put like tomato vines up it, it would... Oh. Can't really do that. That's a good idea. I, I do like that idea. We're gonna do the fence tool and we're gonna make like a little outdoor area um i wish my roof had like an overhang because that would be cool but honestly don't mind at this point i know the weekend is like the like swam like the ratatouille song and then the weekend's like duh, 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 duh. it's like crazy honestly Every time I do like a, oh, oh, is this not the pasture? My bad, I meant the pasture fence. Every time I do like a spooky stream or something, you guys are get, you guys get pretty chaotic. Kind of love it. It fits the vibe though. And also like my regulars and even the newer people welcoming everyone else and like saying goodbye, it warms my heart. Actually, it's so wholesome. I love you guys. I love my viewers. It's great how I can, like, remember a lot of your names. And even, like, those who just joined, I can usually pick you guys out as well in, like, the next streams that you join. Bro, I'm not helping with the cockroach. I got, I got a phobia of roaches. Those things scare me. Actually, I'm gonna match this up with the door. Okay, so we're going to have the feed room. I guess the feed room be here. Okay, so hear me out. Should I design this with the CIT texture pack? I'm gonna ask you guys. So basically what the equestrian CIT pack, it's made by Moonflower. Um, you would get it with the barn. It helps a lot with like designing certain things. And I feel like it's the best bet because if we use the CIT pack, right? 
you guys will get a ton of decorations. And I'll obviously, like, give you guys the, the pack, like, the resource pack with it. There's not going to be different breeds. There's going to be different models. Both, maybe? See, but I, I can't really do both. That's why I'm choosing now. It's the problem. <laughs> it's a, a bit of a problem. Um, let's do a gate. Pasture gate. Let's do white care, because I don't want to, like, color it in case you guys want to color it something different. Let's make out here like a mixture. Um, well, let's see. Keep up the great work, Bestie. Oh, thank you, Zelda. Thank you for the $2 donation. You're so sweet. I didn't realize that was you. I'm not going to lie. Remember the name. Is it okay with older computers? Yes. Um, I also got on my laptop, my older laptop as well, just to test it. It runs pretty great. Um, remember, it's not a mod, it's a resource pack. So if resource packs can't really run well on your computer, then yeah. Um, but also if you guys don't have the resource pack installed, it's not like it'll change the barn at all. It will not manipulate the barn. It'll just have a few things in frames. Like that's all it'll have. So maybe I'll go the extra mile and release one with the resource pack and without the resource pack. Surprise my friends. We believe. Is that all for me? Oh. Hello, presents. For myself? I thought these were myself. So Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Wait. You. Oh, it's my command strips. Why do they. <laughs> they make packages look so intimidating. There's like a little package in there. Thank you. I'm on stream. Do you want to say hi? Are you getting really close? Howdy, y'all. Oh, get all country. Okay. This is my shelf. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, you cleaned up. Yeah. Good. Oh, okay. Did you put it in the recycling bin? What? All the garbage and everything? All the glass bottles and stuff? Oh, yeah. No. Good. I cleaned it off. My glass. Yeah, my, my frappe collection I got yeah. going on. All my coffee. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Howdy. That was my mom. She was bringing in all of the Amazon packages. Amazon packages like command strips and everything in these big old packages. So you're like, oh my gosh, I got something big. I did not remember that. And it's not. Um, let me think. Let's see what else can I add. Um, cobblestone. Let's try that. Yeah, that's kind of the consistency I was going for. Can you do a tutorial on shaders? Yes, I'm actually editing a, a video on shaders right now. I promise. So I'm editing that right now. We're gonna do concrete light gray. Let me look for SWLM light gray. There we go. Does look a little weird on shaders. But I promise you if you do like a line of it, it won't look as weird and it lights up better. Looks a little bit better. Um, we're 50-50 right now with 42 votes. So if you guys haven't voted or you don't really have an opinion, um, it's really up to you. So my mom orders so much from Amazon. I make full-on courses around the house and jump over them. That's so cool. That makes me love your channel even more. Yeah, my mom's just great. She, she has been getting into the habit of, like, texting me if she needs me before, um, coming into my room because it used to be right that she would just like enter my room while i was streaming and i'm like oh i'm streaming and she would be like okay let me just tell you this one thing really quick and i'm like no <laughs> i'm streaming please um but no she has gotten better at it i'm gonna do corner posts as well uh i feel like i don't like this Peachy, do you remember me? I remember, yeah, Sophia. 
There's so many Sophias, it's hard to remember, but no, I do remember your last, I remember the blind part. If that was you. Hi, Lilac, welcome. Okay, so out here is just kind of kind of be like a, probably an area for like the hay and stuff. Um, we're gonna do the feeders and everything. There's gonna be like stuff set up out here. Farmer's Delight, horse feed. Nice, okay. Can I not like put feeder on top of feeder? I guess not. This is like where feed and stuff is stored. Then we're gonna have the crates um, with the trapdoor. Okay, so you guys said no CIT pack, respectable. What I'll probably do is that when I do the tour, I'll probably use the CIT pack, like design stuff with the CIT pack, but after I already exported it. So you guys won't have to download the CIT pack. Um, yeah, go ahead and actually put this over here. And then we're gonna have the different feeds and everything. Um, I don't really know how to make feed stuff. Hold on, let me think about this. Um, let's see, we're probably gonna do something with supplementary. So let me go look and see if I can use some supplementaries. do anything with macaws doors right now i want to keep this as like simple as possible an idea of mods that you guys have to add so i'm gonna do dark oak door and then this You can see it from the side. Can you see that from outside too much? Not really, no. keeps coughing directly on you nah i'm not gonna say i throw hands but i i would speak up about that because that is that is a problem i'm gonna go ahead and remove these in the corner because i have an idea i'm gonna move these to the corner there we go i had this kid in one of my classes when i was younger who used to literally like pull my hair if it sat on his desk, but the desks were really close together. Like, remind you guys, this is like this pre-COVID phase when I was a kid. So obviously like they had no idea what social distancing was. 
In my opinion, social distancing kind of saved like the comfort of classrooms because when you don't have someone directly behind you or directly beside you, it's so much nicer. I'm sorry. But yeah, no, I would definitely say something about that. You can still see like the edge of the chest, but whatever. Um, and then we're gonna have um, hay stacked outside. Well, I kind of want to have like hay stacked in the corner over here. And then we're gonna have like oat bale or something, you know, stacked over here. A slab for design. I'm working on a map right now, I got him. Um, they're in the description. All my mods that I use are in the description. Let's see, um. Um, don't wanna do anything with that. Sorry if you can hear my throat, I just drank water and for some reason my throat's like, I'm gonna make noises now, it's really annoying. Um, frame. That's cool. Um, apple. Do you guys remember like the whole trend? Like, I have a pen. I have an apple. Apple pen. Oh, I hated that trend. I'm sorry. I'm bringing it back right now by accident. Okay. So we have that. Um. Let's see what we can get for them. Oh, some sugar cubes would be great. And then in here you can like put like different feet and stuff. Um, but yeah. And then you guys can also put like, I'll probably end up actually filling these walls in. Right here for these rooms because I feel like there shouldn't be like a connector wall with the horses. Feed schedule bluebell barn or feed bluebell schedule barn. However you want to read it. <laughs> maybe breeding center? Ooh, maybe. Ah, 
I just ripped up my mic by accident. Or not my mic, my headset. Sorry, I was trying to bring my chair up. Um, I'll definitely be building like more and more stuff like as time goes on. Okay, so. I think the feed room is basically done. Go ahead and start trying to design. The outdoors of everything, light stone brick. So now I'm eating a sunflower, honey garlic sandwich, drinking herbal tea, smoothie and water. I'm also eating an orange tangerine and walnut. So I have to take a zinc vitamin. My gosh, eating pretty healthy. Yeah, the pen, pen, pineapple, apple pen. Oh my gosh, you throwing me back. I don't like it. I don't want to be thrown back. Make it stop, please. Mm, don't really like that. I'm trying to get like a setup going here probably something to do with the actual blocks would be good I want something with blue in it. Do we have like a, no, we just have corn flour. I like the corn flowers though. Thank you, Kiana, for the $5 donation. We love you, Peachy. It burns it beautiful. Thank you. You're so sweet. You guys are moving my donation goal up. You guys are so sweet for that. I beat you happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, Zaps. Let's see, there you go. What mod do the flowers come with? Um, supplementaries. So I'm gonna be including the supplementaries, SWGM, SWEM, SWLM. I don't think anything else, because this was supplementaries too. I don't think Rainbow anything else. We believe. Love that. Sorry, I'm still gonna use the lyrics. Um, yeah, supplementaries. I got a reserve with 104 fever on a pony I've never shown before. Huh? Pickle boy, you're a pro. With 104 fever, nah, could never. I could never. That's some serious skill. What do we have in front of the stall? Yeah, whenever people gift memberships and sometimes you're not paying attention to stream, sometimes you can be gifted memberships, but you do have to accept like the little 
gifted membership icon thing, like when you first enter the stream. Um, I feel like something like that is really important for like a rug. Like I shouldn't put that there just in case someone wants to do something different. Uh, supple this is supplementaries, right? So I can use this. Um, oh no, it was dark oak. Was it spruce? Oh my gosh, I have like dark oak and spruce everywhere. Oops, sheesh. It's okay. Dasha for the $5 donation of your videos and builds. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Oh, I'm just going to remove this. Thank you for the donation. Cue Jessica singing Grandma Got Run Over by Reindeer. Please, stream labs. We want to hear it. Grandma got went over by a reindeer. Walking home from our okay, house Christmas Eve. Eve. You can shade her no such thing as Shanta. But as for me and Grandpa, we believe. believe. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna... Hmm. I don't know what else to put here. Not gonna lie, Peach is my birthday today. <gasps> Happy birthday! How do you get the dappled paint? To be a little bit more specific, do you mean like the Peacock Appaloosa? If it's a special coat, yeah, I have a, a, a Secrets of Swim video where I include the 16 secret coats and how to get them. Everyone's favorite Christmas song. I really like It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. Like it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere we go. Um, let's see. I think this is good for like a stall setup. I just want like a simple one, you know? I don't want anything too fancy. Or like, hold on. Yeah. I also like Silent Night. Or like, do you see what I see? I love that song. Okay. I'm looking inside the stall to see if I need anything. I think this is good to be copy and pasted. I, this, oh, I see where it went uneven, guys. I see it. I see the problem. Do, do, you, do you see what I see? All right, here's where it went bad. It's meant to be over there. I 
Okay, so see how these beams are placed? These are both placed this way. This one's placed this way. There's a little mess up, little slip up, little oopsies whoopsies. It's not okay. It bothers me. I'm trying to fix it if I can. I don't know if I like that. It still doesn't fix the unevenness, does it? Well. This thing is just insanely uneven, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, no, it's just insanely uneven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase this middle panel. This is bothering me. Both of these middle panels. Welcome back, Emery. Can anyone join the server? It'll be available for members only when it is released. It won't be released for a while though. Still have a lot of development to do. Wait, that looks way better. It's a little difficult to do it like that though. Okay, that doesn't match up. Hold on. I'm very confused right now with this. Okay, so this beam is just on the wrong angle in general. There we go. That's what I wanted. I need some light. Thank you. 
Peachy, do you think, do you reckon a 50 by 20 sign will be big enough to give you credits? Um, just if you share it on social media, just make sure to tag me as all well and make sure to say like this barn was, the base barn was done by Peachy and you know, if you do any edits, you don't have to like go big and extravagant, do not worry. Um, sign glass. Actually, let's do some screen, right? Let's do some dark screen slabs. I know that SWDM has screens, so we can just use that to filter in light from the roof. Um, if possible, that'd be great. Something's not adding up here. Oh no, it is a block. Okay. No, it's adding up. It's adding up. I swear I'm not going crazy. Belgian Warmbles are my favorite breed. Aw, mine are Oldenburgs. I feel like a lot of warm bloods are just like, I don't know. I love like the 17 hand warm bloods. I like the big boys. Let's do this like this. Let's separate it by beam. Okay. Let's see how it looks inside now. Looks a lot lighter inside with that with that um mesh that screen. I can't speak. <laughs> will there be pastures? Yes. I will include pastures and arenas. If I can't include it with the barn itself, um if in case the schematic is too big, I will be including them separately, but like you can download them and put them in together. It's completely up to you, but I will be including those, yeah. Are you kidding me? That's my favorite part of, of making <laughs> of making barns is adding the extras. I'd be happy to. That's what I'm gonna to do. Oopsies. I may have to do this by hand, hold on. Was a 17 hand thoroughbred. He's an X racer. Oh, you have an OTTB. Love that. I love X racers. All right, sounds good. Thank you.
Why is there like- oh no, there's not less space. I'm sorry, I'm going crazy right now. clear out this right here do you have a real life horse i do not know <gasps> hi gudco welcome to the stream are you drawing right now gudco change your account info oh my gosh you're literally you're doxing yourself right now i now have your government name i know everything about you now video games before work i mean sounds like a pretty good idea Thinking not padding. Um, I'm going crazy. Why can I not think today? Today's a brainless day, guys. An actual brainless day. Please. What is it called? A rubber mat. Thank you. Wait, why did I delete it? I need it, please. <laughs> this is not okay. The fact that I can't think straight is not okay. Your voice is so nice, can I have it? Yeah, free of charge. Are you like that are you like that evil mermaid lady from Little Mermaid? Just curious. Am I do I get like the the prince dude in return? You know like the, the fancy looking prince dude? I'm making a grooming area out here. Um, let's see. Dark oak fence. Uh, uh, hitching post. We're gonna do English mini. Actually, we're gonna do it this way. I'm hitting too many blocks at once. Peach's voice is god tier. Hold on. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that much. I can't speak. 
Oh, wait, I'm doing a Western. I need an English. Come back. English, there we go. Is this an English style barn? I mean, it could be either or. No, I'm gonna do. Okay, you know what? Hear me out. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys a design, and you're gonna absolutely love it. Or else. Not a fence cutter, a fence tool. I can't think of like a fence. You know, like those like the wire cutters that people use for like their barbed wire fence. That's what I'm thinking of. So every time I type it in, I type fence cutter, but I don't mean a fence cutter, like a wire cutter. I mean a fence tool. My brain. We're gonna try this. Then edit this down. And of course I didn't do the pasture. Here we go. Guess we can do a one block then. You can indeed have the weird prince guide return for your lovely voice. You can also have some legs. Thank you. I've, I've always wanted those. <laughs> I haven't been in your live in so long. Welcome back. Oh, Ursula. Yeah. Yep. I remember her name now. Yep. Thank you for, thank you for reminding me. Are the wash bays going to work? Yes. I'm going to show you guys. Do we have, we have concrete stairs, right? Yes, we do. Nice. We're gonna have the planter. So if you can hear me breathing, I don't know why I'm so intense about this. I'm like, oh. When I have ideas, I really need to get them done or I will forget about them. Like brain empty after that. So that's why I'm like really rushing to get this done, to get the ideas out. Okay, so brush, um, hose, spigots. And here we're going to have have the spigot over there and these actually like are functional oh no please don't do that the hoses are functional because i don't know if you guys saw but i put the block of water see this see this cool little contraption this cool little grate to show the actual water that's a block of water so that means you have water in the vicinity so you can actually use the hoses and i'm gonna be putting them over there um See what I put out here. Oh my gosh, 3 a.m. Twinsies. Look, see, it works. The spigot actually works to like refill the bucket. 
Isn't that cool? Huh? So you guys can like also get water from that as well. Wait, you can hose horses? You can hose their... So when horses pee in this game, you can like hose their pee and it cleans it up. That's how you're supposed to clean up horse pee in this game. Unless it soils the shavings, then that's understandable. But like in pastures and stuff, yeah. Um, but yeah, so... Actually grab these for like a border maybe. I don't know if I like that, but it's at least it's worth a try, you know. Like if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Welcome back, Mia. I didn't say welcome back, but I saw you, I swear. I mean, I answered your comment, so. Did you miss anything? Not much, I'm just building the barn. You can definitely skip back after the stream is over to go look. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when the horses are cross-tied. Uh-uh, you're not running, come here. No, come here. Come here. No, not the... Well, you could do the either-or fence, you know. I'm gonna change your coat color because for some reason, the leads are, like, staticky with some of the coats. Change it to that. There we go. See, look. They fit. Okay, well, if I move them back more... There we go. So they fit in that little spot. You guys can uh, keep them there to tack them up. It's up to you. Or, hear me out. If you guys don't like that setup, right? And you're like, Peachy, it doesn't doesn't look very comfortable. It doesn't look like a big enough space. You can put them in between this main one and have them kind of right outside in the tack area. So it's completely up to you. See, look over here. Look at that. I mean, it works either way. I think it works both ways. But I'm saying, like, you could you could cross tie them wherever you want um so let's make the tack uh, i'm gonna need the tack chests i'm gonna need more doors i'm gonna kind of keep the same setup from over here and then i do some armor stands i'm gonna get rid of all of this um saddle racks bridle rack what else is tack? Let's go look at the mod thing, because I sometimes forget what we have. Ready the saddle. I can do the anvil for in the side of the tack room as well. Wheelbarrow. Um. Ooh, I just shivered so bad. Gosh, it is getting cold outside, and it's getting cold inside my room. If you guys don't give credits, you should be scared. Honestly. No, if I see somebody not giving credits, I'm sorry. There's there's no excuse for not giving credits. Like, forgetting, I completely understand that in a way. Like, if you forget to give credits, like, whatever, you know, I'll just remind you sweetly. Like, hey, you should totally give credits. But if you guys know that you're not giving credits and, like, after I warn you and stuff, we're going to have to have a, we're gonna have to have a chat. I'm sorry. We're going to have to have a little talk. <laughs> Because there's no excuse for um for not giving credits, I'm sorry. Like, you know, forgetting I do all the time. Like, oh, I forgot to give credits, let me do that. Like, a, somebody usually reminds me, like, oh, hey, use this, can you give credits? I'm like, of course. But yeah, and that that doesn't go for my projects. That goes for anybody's projects. If you're using their project and you didn't give credits, I mean, it's just a matter of time before someone says something about it. 
I don't know if I like this setup, not gonna lie. Well, I'm not gonna be using, I'm not gonna do it that way because I do need the rest of the wall. And then this is also going to be edited, so it's not like this. There we go. My music stops, so it's just awkward silence. I think I need to sound scarier when I say give credits, you know? I don't know, I don't know how to sound scary. Am I, okay, be honest guys, am I an intimidating person? Do I intimidate you guys in any way? I'm not asking that for like psychological power. I'm asking that because sometimes I don't think I'm intimidating enough. I just don't think I'm assertive enough. I think I need to be more assertive. Hi, Hannah, welcome. Are you excited for Christmas? I'm so excited. I'm excited to go see the decorations because a lot of the people around here haven't even decorated yet. And I really want to go and see the decorations. Actually, I'm not even going to do that over there. Just be like, give credits. <laughs> no. Make you a member for three months. You're the best feature. Also, thanks to someone who gave me membership. You guys are so kind and sweet. Love you all so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the three months Royal Peach membership. Welcome to the, well, I guess re-welcome to the membership fam. Love you, Mia. Thank you so much. You're so sweet for joining and being so supportive. Also, Mia, you should read your Discord DM because I did send you a Discord DM. Christmas hype. Oh yeah, also, um, two people asked in DMs on Instagram about my P.O. Box. Um, if you guys were interested in sending anything, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. So if you guys do want to send anything for like Christmas to my P.O. Box, I'm not asking for anything fancy, but if you guys like have like little gifts or like handmade gifts, um, somebody's sending me like a little woven basket that they made um, with like their business. Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. So um, if you guys like have gifts like that, then I suggest playing them you know bringing them to my p.o box which is in the description i'll probably end up changing my p.o box soon um because i have like the like the biggest p.o box that my post office offers and i don't need that big of a p.o box so but i'll wait till after christmas but if you guys are wanting to send like little gifts feel free i'm gonna be doing giveaways so if you guys don't want gifts and want to be gifted then i completely understand um actually i'm gonna go ahead and put this in here in the feed room like out here. There we go. That deep voice. Yo, give credits where credits are due. Sorry. Where's the armor stand right here? Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do armor rack. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Armor rack, that takes up an entire area. All right. go book um girth can we put like the driving harness on this no, we can't. That would be cool. I want to see what the driving harness looks like. You must equip a halter slash bridle. Let's do a halter really quick. I forgot what it looks like. I'm not going to lie. I haven't done one so long. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'll definitely do a driving video soon with it. We're building a fan. Uh, like, thank you for support barn where you guys get a free barn. I'm also just testing out my building capabilities because I built this all. And I'm very proud of it. Not to flex, but I did build this. Oh, 
Magenta. Wait, why can't I place anything? Wait, why can't I place anything right here? Hello, are these glitched? Oh, I guess they were glitched? That's weird. That was weird, yeah. Glitch bridal, there we go. Big brain, big big brain peachy. I just said brig bane, and that just shows how big brain I really am. I thought it so hard that I I <laughs> I wasn't able to say it right. Um, not sure if I like this shelf idea, but um, I don't really like this. Not gonna lie. Is there a way to like armor stand and do like right here maybe? Oh well, it sticks out. It needs like a good bit of room. I could do lockers though. I forgot we had lockers. I forgot lockers existed, not gonna lie. Right locker, left locker. Let's do, I really like the netherite horse armor. I can't put anything in the corner. Um, can we have like a two block? Like a four block? What about this one? Nah, it doesn't look doesn't look right. Not gonna lie. It's one of those lockers. Yeah. Bro, I wish. The heat doesn't reach my room in this house for the most part, so I have to have my own, like, industrial heater in here. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's great because I can, like, control the heat in my room, but it's not great because the heat doesn't get to my room, so I have to, like, run the heater in order to do that. Wait, why is it, like, not connecting the troughs? There we go. Thank you. Okay, so I think we have most of the barn done. Um, we have the feed room, we have the tack room, we have uh, three, we have six stalls. I was gonna say three, three on each side. That's what I was mean to say. Um, trying to think of anything else we may need. <laughs> I do want to like replace this with a helmet. I want like an armor stand. There we go. Yeah, the floor, honestly, I just made the, f like, the coloring, like, right here, like, the light gray concrete. I made it neutral, so you guys can choose whatever you want for the floor color. Like, I honestly made it that color because I was like, okay, I want people to be able to choose their own color for the floor, you know? Okay. I thought I was going to destroy it. I'm not going to lie. Oopsies, didn't want me to do that. So yeah, if you guys are like, I don't like this floor color, well, don't worry. I, I made it so that you guys can edit it. Don't worry about it. 
I did this for you. There we go. Now you guys can open those up and you can like right click a horse, put this back down and have the horse's tack box and everything developed. Yeah, Sophia, that should be fine. To run Swem with mods, you should only need about four to six gigabytes of, of allocated RAM. Not even. Like, I wouldn't even say that much. Actually, I want... Also, what I wanted in here was I wanted... You can have like little storage sacks of stuff. My server isn't even open to members yet, yeah. If you want to use it with other people, you can. Um, my server's being developed right now. We have to get a lot of things figured out. Um, we're getting plots and everything ready. I'm getting a rules list. I'm getting a show system set up, an economy set up. We're going to be having like cattle shows, horse shows. We're going to be having a mixture of everything. So it's not just going to be swim. It's not just going to be like a swim server. It's going to be like swim is on there, but there's tons of other things to enjoy as well. And I want you guys to be able to like be able to log on to Minecraft and just like not have to worry about anything. Because that's what I've always wanted with a server, and that's what I want to provide. So hopefully I can provide that. Maybe not in the first few months, because it will be stressful to update everything and get everything ready for you guys. But yeah. Oh, Christmas tree is written by a German guy who found a really pretty Christmas tree, and that's why he wrote it. Oh my gosh. I love my German ancestors. Love that. Okay, V. No worries. I have to go now. Bye, Jana. Um, Eternos, there's tutorials on YouTube. I suggest looking at those. What do we have for the leaves over here? They're not leaves in here. Yeah, there are. We have acacia. Interesting. No idea why I picked that though. Bye, my channel. Thank you for joining. We're gonna do.
It's Saturday the... It's Friday the 16th. Oh, you may be in Australia. I mean, if you need water, I would go get water. If your brother wakes up, I mean, I don't know. I would definitely stay hydrated though. You need that hydration, you know? Okay, this is gonna be the front pathway. I'm not gonna keep on going because somebody else can do that. Um, and then we're gonna go out here and make some pastures. Okay, you guys are gonna help me choose with this. We're gonna have a little interactive stream here, okay? So are we going for a, let's see. Okay, so are we going for more of like a box type? Like here are the corners, pretty organized, um, cleaner looking for the pastures or are we looking for more of like a windy pasture with like forest in between? Honestly, I really like the windy pastures theme because this barn has a more of like a, a cottage type look to it. But at the same time, I wouldn't judge people for wanting a box type if they want like a cleaner show barn looking thing. But at the same time, I do, I do love the windy. I want to test out some things. Oh, it's the How to Train Your Dragon song. Is a blending box a shader or a mod? What blending box? Like this right here, where it blends into the grass. That's part of a texture pack. Sorry, I had to yawn. That's part of a texture pack. It's in the description. All my mods and texture packs are in the description if you guys want to go check them out. That's World Edit Noodle. Use this whitewash log. Okay, we're doing a cottage type. Let's see how many votes we had. 33 votes is pretty good. 15% versus 85%. Okay, I'm going to choose what the people have told me. I'm gonna do carpet. Um, I'm gonna try this. Where's the friendly bars? Okay, so. This back part of the lot is going to be a little bit more foresty. So I'm not going to do a controlled path like over there. I'm going to do more of a windy path. I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second. Let me get a brush. I'm going to use a wooden sword. Brush, cylinder. And we're going to do cobblestone, grass. Uh, and then SWM's cracked andesite. And we're going to do five. Okay, I forgot to do grass block. That was my bad. Make sure to type grass block, guys. Don't be like Peachy, who continuously messes that up. And we're gonna do two, actually, to start off, because I wanna do it controlled. Let's bump it up to three, so it expands a little bit. There we go. We're gonna do a windy path. Hi, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew, for the gifted five peachy memberships. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. This is going to have some sus shapes. I promise, guys. I'm trying my best here. Trying my best not to create any sus shapes. No, it's just it's just a bunch of blobs. We're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm using World Edit. I'm using a brush. Um, it's slash brush, but I use BR and then cylinder, so it's a cylinder shape. Um, 
and then you put the block you want and then the radius you want and then the height that you want so if i did let's say like i want three blocks wide and then five blocks tall and right click it goes up five blocks tall this is also a good idea for like creating mountains and then you can do smooth not smooth, smooth and then you can smooth it out as well so yeah that's a good idea if you guys wanted like cool mountains that's what i use for my mountains and my terraforming now that we have the path, we're going to start with the pasture. Um, this is going to be randomized, so it's not going to be it's not going to be like a, a really controlled clean. So some of them are going to be more uneven than others. I'm just saying that now before you guys are like, Peachy, my pasture is uneven with blocks. Yes, it's meant to be that way, I promise. Congrats all the new members. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. So what I kind of want to do is kind of have like that, but no, it's too short. Yeah, this music reminds me so much of The Illusionist. I was telling my mom, I was like, this music reminds me of The Illusionist. And of course she's like, oh, we should watch it again sometime. I'm like, no. We watch that movie like five times in a week because my mom loves watching movies like over and over again. Probably because it's like a comforting thing. Like, you know what's going to happen. You know how the movie's going to end. You know? How to become a member. If you press the join button beside my name, um, you get certain perks. Henry's pots and plants. Um, it, it's a texture pack, so it does say it doesn't work. See, look, resource pack. Uh, it says it says look right here. It says incompatible. It's not incompatible. It's a liar. It's a fraud. Trust me, it works. If you still apply it to your Minecraft. Now, if a mod says that, that's different. But a texture pack, I just I'm like, you know what? Whatever, work or don't work. And usually, guess what? It works. <laughs> But I promise you, the version that I use says incompatible, and it, I, it does work. Does it cost money? It does. When you become a member, you're not only supporting me, but you get different perks. It's basically like a subscription service, um, unless, like, like my boyfriend Matthew just gifted five memberships. Love him for that. Um, you get a free membership, basically, for a month. But everyone gets, every member gets access to videos first. And then I'm also going to be creating some member-only videos where I do some requests from the members. Very excited about that. And then I'm going to be making member-only barns very soon as well. This is a process and I don't like it. It's boring. Okay, are we liking this fence? Are we liking this fence design? I like it so far. Um, if you press the join button on your PC or like, I don't know if you, okay, it's different. Cause if you have it on your phone, if you have like the join button on your phone and it's not on your PC cause it's beta currently, I don't know. I guess they're just calling it beta cause they're still working on it, but they've had it out for a pretty long time. Um, if you don't see the join button on your phone, then check your computer. If you don't see it on your computer, then check on your phone. I'm sorry. That's really confusing, but <laughs> I promise you, um, I'm trying my best to explain it. I'm going to leave this gap open for trees and stuff and bushes. So if you guys see that, ignore it. How do you undo my brush? Um, slash slash undo like this and then if you did it more than once keep on undoing it I've always wanted to be a member, but I don't have the money. I'm sorry. I hope someday someone gifts you a membership I want to I wish I could like gift people. I guess I could gift them off my alt account or something I don't even have an alt YouTube. I don't know why I said it like that I guess well, I do have like an alt but it's like my main YouTube that I've never posted on like my personal YouTube I may just get on here one day and just gift a bunch of memberships 
Because why not, you know? Because I don't... Can I even gift memberships? Oh, I can't. Darn it. Why can't I gift my own members memberships? Please. Put the western fence at the bottom. Does it look good? Like at the bottom if you do like both? Mmm, I don't know if I like that. Since there's so many wine, like windy corners, I feel like the beams kind of show up a lot. Should we do a poll to show? I'll let you guys choose. You guys, you guys are the community. This is your barn. You guys get to choose. I might ask my mom if I can do the $5 one. The $5 one I believe is the best value because Royal Peaches, they get a few more perks. Then there's like the supportive one that I added recently, which is like the $15 one. And that one is basically triple the value of the top one, but it's literally just for supporting. How do you undo brush? You do slash slash undo. I've already shown you, yeah. Peach of all the texture backs in your description, but I don't have the blending blocks. That's weird. Um, The one that's blend may be this one. Or this one. I don't know which one it is. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing at, at this time. Oh my gosh, look, world specific resources. Let's go. That was Riley right there. I love Riley. Riley, if you're watching this, I love you. This is your barn. You get to choose. Choose whether you like it or not. <laughs> that sounds so threatening. You better choose. Yeah, vote if you guys want. Okay, so you guys are voting basic whitewash at the moment. So I'm just going to do basic whitewash. I mean, okay, the reason I'm not doing a lot with the outside, I'm just doing basic terraforming is because as I've said this entire time, you guys are going to be able to choose your own pasture designs. Like, if you guys want to rip out this pasture fence and do something completely different, that's completely up to you. I, I'm not going to lie. Whenever I downloaded barns back in the day when I first learned how to download them, I ripped them apart. I was like, I don't like this part. I'm just going to add in my own little unique creative touch. I want you to do that. I want you guys to feel like comfortable with editing my barn because... It's there for you guys to edit however you want, unless you don't want to edit it, unless you want to be like, Peachy, my queen, I don't want to touch her work. Actually, please don't ever talk like that. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but you know what I mean. Like, unless you don't want to edit it and you just want to leave it how it how it is, then it's completely okay. You do whatever you're comfortable with. Peachy, what's your favorite swim horse? Um, I don't think I have a favorite. I think my first, my first ever like one I really loved was Pumpkin. I didn't even name Pumpkin. One of my viewers named Pumpkin. Back in the OG swim days. Gosh, it's been like two years of swim. October was two years. Actually, I'm going to wait on that and just... Here's the pasture so far. It's gonna have a lot in it. Spicy pumpkin, yep, pumpkin spice. She's got the pumpkin, she's got the spice. Actually, that reminds me, what is your guys' go-to like seasonal drink? 
it doesn't matter if it's Starbucks, Dunkin', your local coffee shop. Um, doesn't matter if it's Tim Hortons, Timmy's. Did you guys know that they opened in, in Dallas? Like the US, like strand of them opened in Dallas. I kind of want to do like a road trip one day to Dallas and just go just to Tim Hortons. Not gonna lie, I used to call it Tom Hortons because that's what I thought it was. <laughs> Please don't laugh at me if you're Canadian. Please. Don't do it. Keyboard clicks, yes. ASMR. Wait. Yeah, no, I'm on the, I'm on the right. I'm on the right side of the mic. It's like, hold on. If you heard those clicks, that was me checking if you guys could hear my PC or not, and you guys cannot. My PC is very quiet today, though. Probably because I just cleaned my PC out. I don't think that has anything to do with the noise of it, but I just feel like my PC is happier when I clean it out. I don't know. Like, whenever your room is clean, you feel like cleaner yourself, even though it doesn't really make much of a difference. Look, whenever I do my laundry and it's like not piled up on a laundry basket, I'm like, oh my God, my room is so clean and organized, but my room didn't change. I would definitely um, check tech help in the swim discord noodle instead of asking here because I'm going to be honest. I don't I'm not going to try to sound rude or anything because I've been trying to start it a little bit more. Can't really help you <laughs> like gecko live with swim, swim and everything. If you don't have the right version, don't really know how to help you with that. You're going to have to go to tech help because it could be your computer. It could be other mods. We, we don't know. And my stream mods also will not know how to help you. Chocolate frappe, wait, like a mocha or like a chocolate? That sounds really good. Starbucks pink drink? No, I completely understand. You do not have to apologize. I am obsessed as well. With like the strawberry, the dehydrated strawberries added into, oof. I don't drink coffee. What favorite tea then? Or what do you drink? Do you just like drink water? Peach, your videos have been inspiring me, so inspiring to me. You've really helped me become a better builder. I can't thank you enough. Oh, you're welcome. Anything to help. I think forcing myself to build has really improved my building as well because I used to build like a little dirt barn and I'm like, hmm, that's good. I love, I love my glowstone roof. I love my uneven dirt barn. Love it very much. Where did I stop? Uh, oh, it's over here. I'm pr probably not going to be able to get everything done in today's stream, but I'm going to try and stream for as long as possible because I feel like my last couple of streams have been really short and you guys deserve longer streams. Now I want Vietnamese coffee. Wait, what does it taste like? It's just like, I don't know. Have you guys ever had boba, like bubble tea with the boba balls? Oh my God. The little tapioca flower balls please. Thank you. We have in um, a town over, we have this Asian food store and me and my sister went in there and I found like a, a is it like shrink? Yeah. Shrink wraps bag of boba balls. That you can like add to water and then like leave them in the fridge overnight and they become really like flexible and stuff. Oh my God. They're so good. I really miss boba when I lived back in Georgia last year. Like me and my roommate used to go and get boba all the time and it was so good. I miss it so much. I don't like boba. Understandable. I've met a few people who like despise boba, but then I've met like other people who just, they don't prefer it, but they will get boba. Like if everyone else is getting boba. Our local coffee shop, we have like a, a hometown coffee shop here. Um, it's like coffee and ice cream and they have like these lemonade drinks with popping popping balls in them they're like the the fruity popping things i don't know what to call them um but they're oh my gosh they are so good there's this one called pond water hear me out on this okay it's called pond water and it's like this green apple lemonade mixture the sour green apple lemonade mixture with like gummy worms and like the little little popping things oh my god they're so good and then they give you like the really thick straws and it's actually really cheap there i made boba at home yeah it's actually really easy to make if you have tapioca flour and then you roll it together you roll them into little balls 
and then you boil them and then you let them sit in the water like overnight. You're supposed to let them sit in the water, which I didn't know the first time making. And then you're supposed to like let them, I don't know, marinate, I guess. I don't know what to say. I don't know what words to use with that, but Vietnamese iced coffee. I had Thai iced coffee and Thai iced tea. It was really good. I like that. Sorry, I stuttered so hard right there. But I, it still has that homey sense that coffee's from Starbucks lack. Honestly, I, I completely understand. I understand what you mean by that, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Dunkin' as well, I'm not a huge fan of Dunkin'. Used to love Dunkin' and Starbucks, but Dunkin', I get the same drink every single time from the same exact location, and I kid you not, y'all, it tastes different every single time. I don't know what I'm about to get. Am I about to get the best coffee of my life, or am I about to get a coffee that tastes like... Like, one time it literally tasted like dirt, and I... You, you know me, I'm like non-confrontational. I'm like, oh, it works, it's whatever. I drank that entire coffee. Because I was like, I'm not gonna waste my money and I'm not gonna make them remake it. That's so mean. <laughs> like, I understand the mentality of like, oh, you paid for it, you want the best service possible, but are you gonna go walk in there with the coffee and, and con confront the employees? I don't think so, because I'm not. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Starbucks would be very hard to find in Sweden. That's why I've never tasted it. Yeah, there's some like signature drinks that Starbucks has that's really good, like the the pinkity drinkity hi sisters um i i like it with certain milks i like the pink drink with, i think with oat milk i got it once oh my gosh it was so good and then there was the peppermint mocha is what i get during seasonal time also really good i'm leaving some space for leaves and stuff i promise I don't know, but um, with the Dunkin', with the drink that I got, and then the next time I got a really sweet girl behind the counter, or sorry, like behind, I was in the drive-thru, but like behind the mic, and I told her when I got up to the window, I was like, yeah, the last time I got this exact drink, it tasted like dirt. And she was like, I'm so sorry. Um, our last batch of coffee that we like just ran out of wasn't ground completely, so a lot of our drinks just tasted off. She's like, we just got a new shipment in, so like, I promise it'll be better. And I'm like, okay. And it was like one of the best coffees I've ever had in a long time. So, yeah, like, I'm, I'm not going to, like, stop going to a place because I've had one bad coffee and I'm not going to, like, get mad at an employee for not doing their job when it wasn't their fault. It was just the coffee they were using. But, yeah, no. I feel like I've, I've stood up a lot in the past, though, and been like, hey, my food or drink was not made right. Can I please get it made again? I feel like if it's, if it's actually the employee's fault, then I feel like you can say something without hopefully being yelled at. By the employee. Yeah, I can't speak. When I'm when my brain moves too fast for my mouth to catch up, it it ends badly. I don't get Starbucks because I live in a small country town and the closest Starbucks is here is like an hour and a half away. Me too. Me too. I understand. The closest Starbucks to me is fifty minutes away. The closest Duncan to me is 45 minutes away. So I understand, trust me. We have a small town coffee shop that I go to for coffee or I just buy something here and I like make it. Like instant coffee, if you use like a frother, really good. Um, but our local coffee shop closes at 2.30 p.m. So I mean, <laughs> it's really difficult to get coffee after like a certain part of the day. And our local McDonald's makes really good coffee, so, I mean, I don't really mind. I'll put up with it for the coffee. The only coffee shop I have near me is McDonald's and these small coffee shops. Same. We're the same person. Oh, my God. I feel like a lot of towns I've lived in they don't have like a big a big coffee shop like i lived in georgia last with my roommate with rachel and the coffee shops there there were like a lot of good coffee shops like starbucks duncan there were some like cafes like the cute little cafes with like the 
aesthetic interior that you can go and bring your laptop to and do stuff at, but they're so expensive. Like a large coffee at this cafe I went to before I hung out with a friend. Um, oh my God. It was so expensive. It was like with tax and everything, it was almost like $15 for a large coffee. $15. You know what $15 can get me at like a local place here? Like a lot. A lot. And that's like USD. $15 USD. But yeah. Wasn't Tim's like uh, sold to another company though? Like doesn't another company own Tim's now? Tom Hortons. Tommy boy. Tim's. Sorry, back in my my Tom Horton days. I'm sorry if you guys ever encountered me in those days when I thought Tim Hortons was Tom Hortons. <laughs> it's so bad. Every time I think of a Canadian that corrected me and I was like, no, it's Tom Hortons. <laughs> oh, welcome to Starbucks. How can we rob you today? I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. My favorite thing is when like I'm behind somebody in line in like any restaurant or any like fast food place and the person in front of me is like yelling at the employee. This is this is a controversial opinion. They're like yelling at the employee and the employee is just sitting there and I'm like, it's not the employee's fault that like prices are high. They're like, this is so expensive. Like, how could you? And it's like, did the employee sit down at a long conference table and go, let's raise the price of these large fries $2? No, the employee is just trying to do their job. Don't make them put their two weeks in today, please. They're trying their best. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to make an entrance over here. So we're going to find the center block. This is my favorite trick with world edit for finding the center with a long strip like this. It's I was going to say, it's probably going to be two blocks. Okay. This one's probably going to be one block from the looks of it. Yep. I don't know. My prediction game is just so great like that. I'm, I'm not even trying to flex or anything. I just, I realize after a long time of just like, I'm going to predict what, how many center blocks is going to be. I can, you can just tell by looking at it now. Okay, we got the gates up. Um, I still have this pasture to do. I'm gonna wait on that pasture because I may wanna do like a little, a little like garden here instead. I don't know. I don't wanna have like one smaller pasture and one bigger pasture, but I don't know what else to do about that. So we're gonna make some trees while we're at it. Oh, I still haven't added the pole, I'm sorry. It's been on the top of the chat for you guys. Why are there so many Canadians here? No, honestly, like, I would be offended too if somebody like called like somebody from an okay that sounds horrible but like somebody from like a neighboring country like if Canadians were like oh McDonald's or something I'm like McDonald's they're like no McDonald's like I would I would honestly fight fight them too even though McDonald's is in Canada like if I walked up to a Canadian what I'm streaming Canadians are horribly dangerous people you can't say that <laughs> There's so many Canadians in my stream chat right now. They're so nice, but don't let them fool you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, sorry, I didn't realize how loud I was talking until he opened my door. Um, sorry, that was my dad calling Canadians horrible people, even though he was, he was joking. He said, you can't trust them. I trust you. Don't worry. But if somebody from Canada was like, McDonald's and I'm like McDonald's excuse me like I I understand why Canadians like go at people for pronouncing things wrong well I wouldn't say go at people Canadians are really sweet but well okay I just need to stop talking I'm digging myself a deeper hole there's some there's some mean Canadians let's be honest not the Canadian discrimination nah cancel my dad please We're going to do a 20 block fill. Um, the fill command is really good for blocking out outside blocks. So for example, if I do the fill command right here, it won't go outside of the block radius. So really good idea for like filling in pastures, filling in big areas that are like enclosed with a block. 
Um, just in case you guys are like, you know what, I need to learn some world edit. Well, you're in luck. Bye, Anna and Laura. Us Canadians aren't as we seem. See, all I heard when I was growing up is like, Canadians are the sweetest people. And then I met some Canadians and I was like, mm, there's some scary ones. There's some bad apples, but just like Americans, I feel like can't even, I can't, you can't even uh, compare Americans because there's a, there's a big diversity. Same with Canadians in a way, like, I don't know. <laughs> Hong Kong, welcome. I feel like your dad is an amazing person. He's, he's a jokester. Okay, we're gonna do Acacia Leaves. Okay, you guys ready for this? We're gonna do Acacia Leaves. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do White Leaves. I'm gonna do like Flowery Leaves. Let's see, why was I tagged? Okay. I love when everyone interacts in my Discord, like on the Let's Chat. Everyone tells me about their day. So sweet. Welcome back, Joel. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Guys, it's a joke, please. I know it's Tim Hortons. I know it's Tim Hortons, I promise. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do spruce for the trees. I know we did dark oak, but I feel like spruce just matches it really well. Actually, no, we're gonna do oak. Cause I feel like oak is just softer. She did the poll. I did the poll. You're so right. So <laughs> I need to join your Discord. You really do. Bye, Mia. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sticking to the, the maple syrup mousse stereotype. Um, the intense typing, oh my gosh. Wait, is it actually? Oh my gosh, the way you said Tom Horton so confidently, I was like, wait, is it actually Tom Horton's? I'm sorry. This is this is what I'm talking about. I get in these moments where I'm like, wait, did I say it wrong? And I like look it up because I'm so terrified of saying it wrong. And then somebody from another country just goes after me and I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, I'm sorry. We're gonna make a cute little flower tree. I'm so excited for your new server. I am too, honestly. Oh my gosh, wait, guys, hear me out. I've always wanted to do this. I'm gonna put a sign inside of this tree. You're an OG. 
if you see this. I love you. Peachy. I wanna see if I can edit signs. Can I still edit signs with this? No, I can't. Okay, so we're hiding that in there. Only you guys know about it because you guys were the only ones. Oh my gosh, 62%. 21 votes, you guys. Sixty-two percent of you guys are Canadians. I'm baffled. I'm baffled and intimidated at the same time. We're gonna add some texture by adding some pressure plates. So just add some texture to the leaves really quick so that we can get some cute differences in here. Can add some slabs to add some leveling textures too. There we go. That does look a little weird, not gonna lie. It looks so thick on the bottom. Let me make it like a one block type jump. Not jump, tree. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. There, the first tree. Lollipop tree. You're so right. Let me mix in some acacia trees here too. feel so happy when Peachy notices my comments. Well, I read through my stream chat. I promise if you guys ever feel like I'm ignoring you, I, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just either so concentrated that I'm not looking at my stream chat or I just haven't seen your chat. I'm sorry. The only time I like actually ignore someone, I know oh, Peachy ignores me, that's crazy, is when you guys ask like a question again and again and my mods have already answered it. Like that's literally the only time. I'm like a, I'm an out loud reader. So if I read a question, I usually read it out loud so that everyone can hear it. Not because I want it read out loud all the time, but because uh, that it looks like a better understanding in a way, if that makes sense. One of those people, when I used to study for um, tests and stuff, especially in college, I would read out loud. I know it sounds really annoying. I wouldn't do it in like public places, obviously, like in my room or something, or like nobody was home, like outside of my room. But it it helped me understand it better because I would read it and repeat it, and it would be like my brain would acknowledge it better. So we need face cam on streams. I need to start doing face cam more. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you guys in perspective, okay? I got up today at noon, 12 p.m. because I was up late last night working, and. Uh, I went to the gym, got to the gym at 12.40 today and checked in and everything because they have a new system. So I had to like take like two or three minutes to do their little check-in thing. Okay. You're still with me, right? Yep. Um, I didn't get done until like, we think. I didn't get home until like 2.10. Forgot what time I got home exactly, but I didn't get home and I wasn't able to shower and get ready and everything. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying, I'm trying to stay healthy and go to the gym. It's very difficult to do it every single day. I 
I don't know if I like those. I like that one. That's a cute tree. But today's my last day of the gym until Monday because I don't go on the weekends. I have too much to do and I also am terrified of going to the gym on the weekends when everyone's off work or when certain people are off work because my gym has like a bunch of young people go to it after hours, like after school and stuff. So I go during the day when nobody's like everyone's at work like or like at lunch. Because I do not want to see people my age there. It gives me anxiety. I'm sorry. Friday's great, thanks. Didn't do much, but it's nice to stay warm. Busy at work still. Did you have to fix another self-checkout? You need to come to our Walmart and fix these self-checkouts. They're so bad. My self-checkout, right? Kept on double scanning everything. Pretty sure the scanner's broken. So the employee had to come over and just sit there as I scan my stuff and then delete everything extra. She's like, oh, I'm fine with it. Like, it's part of my job. And I'm like, I'm, <laughs> even though it wasn't my fault, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry for your machine acting up because for some reason I feel like it is my fault. <laughs> no. Nobody knows who I am here, which is nice in a way. I want it to stay that way. I feel like even if somebody did know I was here, they wouldn't come up to me. I don't know. I'm not like ever scared of somebody coming up to me, but at the same time, if someone does, I wouldn't really know like what to say. I don't know. I feel like I'm not that well-known yet. That's like the scary part of being well known, you know, is like people just know what you look like and they can just walk up to you or they can like even worse, right? They can take pictures of you and you don't know. Like if I just end up in a Reddit post somewhere of like me, like absolutely like just des destroying like a piece of food in like a restaurant, I would, <laughs> I would fight. I would fight someone. Like if somebody posts a picture of me like mid bite on a burger, oh, I would be so mad. At least get like a cute picture of me, please. <laughs> I sound like I'm talking to my stalker. At least get a cute picture of me if you're gonna stalk me, you know? That's a complete joke, please don't stalk me. Thank you. I'm not giving me permission. I'm so sorry. I like your profile picture. Thank you. I worked on making my profile and stuff yesterday. That was really great. Um, I do have merch. If you guys are interested in getting some holiday merch, completely understand if you don't since holidays are they're pretty short as it is. But um, I will be coming out with my springtime merch in half a month. So no worries. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, you know, like the Walmart thing, how it says like ask for a review, the self checkouts at our Walmart, sometimes like some of them don't do it sometimes do. I'm just, I'm thinking it's something to do with like an updated system that some don't and some do. They say like, you know, thank you for shopping at Walmart. You know how they say it. One of them has like a glitch where it just sounds robotic. I don't know if like it's the audio is glitched, but it's like, oh, it sounds horrible. It sounds robotic and creepy and mm -mm, gross. So I just don't use that self-checkout. How do you make your thumbnails or channel picture? Um, With Fire Alpaca, it's a free editing program. I've learned to use it over the years. I used to be really bad with it. Like I'd have to look up all these online tutorials and stuff. It's very limited, not gonna lie, as like, you know, editing programs like Photoshop, but it's, it's there and I use it. I'd rather use a free one that I know how to use than a paid one that I don't know half the abilities. Cause like when you pay for something, you want to know how to use it, right? So, 
but photoshop does have a lot of tutorials as well it's just really expensive and now it's a subscription-based service so you need to pay every month to keep photoshop like i just want the disc version really badly I live sorry I was scrolling up through stream chat because I thought I saw something but it was a repeated question I was like wait I don't want to I don't want to miss anybody's chat I don't want to be like that I promise what time is it oh my gosh it's 5 30 have I been going for oh my gosh what the heck it does not feel like three hours I'm going for almost two and a half hours three hours You guys have stayed for that long? Thank you. Oh my gosh, we have 69 viewers. Nobody say anything. Don't think it. I know somebody's bound to say something, but don't do it. Don't you dare. Somebody, somebody better leave or join. We, we can't keep that number. It's a, it's a cursed number. Please. Okay, thank you for changing that. <laughs> I was honestly waiting for somebody to be like, haha, 69 or something like weird. Oh my gosh. Hi, uh, hi Jolie, welcome. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. It's not 5.30, it's 6.30. Well, that's like, that's your time zone. That's a you problem, love. I didn't think I could make it because I was hanging out with the in real life gooseberry. Bro, you stole my horse? Excuse me? If she doesn't launch you off of cliffs, then she's not the in real life gooseberry. I'm sorry. Oh, also, if you guys play Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC and you guys are uh, have access to RDO, like Red Dead Online, we are doing a trail ride tomorrow at 6 p.m. I'm still thinking if I should uh, should stream it. Do you think I should stream Red Dead Online Trail Ride? I don't know. I kind of just wanted to film it, but at the same time, I may stream it. Just for the funsies. I feel like you guys like Red Dead Online content. I dare you to talk in a British accent. Pip pip trail, love. Gonna chef you up into Tesco meal deal, yeah? If you come into my ends. What'd you say about my mom? Oh, Alexa, welcome to the stream. I'm so sorry you had to walk in on that. <laughs> Imagine new people joining and being like, Peachy, what are you on? I don't know. How do you make your pasture look good? Um, I use a texture pack. I use Henry's LOTR flowers. Uh, let's put some flowers in here. So this is going to be uh, the bluebell barn. So I'm going to put blue flowers in here with some blue tones. I don't see anything else we could use. Um, wait, candle holder. No, we can't do that. Do you terraform yourself normally or do you just use normal biomes? Um, it depends. For my world currently, it's normal biomes that just formed and then I made space for them. But right now this is on a flat world because we're on the terraforming world, like not the terraforming world, what am I trying to say? Um, schematics world. It's like a realm, not a realm, a dimension, sorry, wording. Um, that is made just for me to build barns and stuff for us to export. By us, I mean Riley. She'll, I'll, I'll teach myself how to do it, but she'll probably be helping me just for the first couple of times. 
Um, Riley's great like that. Riley's been a huge help on the server. And Matt as well. Matt has been a huge help as well in getting this server up and running. My mom. What'd you say about me, mom? <laughs> if you come in my end, I'ma mess you up. I'm having trouble downloading supplementary, so I was wondering if anyone know how to fix. Um, make sure you're downloading the right version, and that should be it. Like, there should be no other problem. If you have any other problems, I would definitely reach out on the CurseForge page, because I don't know how to help you there. Okay, so we have the flower set up. Um, I'm going to be making the trees behind the scenes, because I have some ideas, but I don't just want to spend this entire <laughs> this entire live stream building trees. That would not be my, my idea of a, a good stream. <laughs> And then we're gonna do a pathway alongside the barn. Let me grab a sword. I'm so happy that you're making this because I'm not the best builder. Of course, I will be making more barns too. I'll be making, I'm gonna say this now, I'm gonna be making more free barns too. Like this is not just gonna be the only free barn. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, we only have one choice of free barns. No, I love making barns. It's just a really long process. Like, believe it or not, hear me out. It's a lot of work to build a barn and I know that's said about everything but it just it takes like time for me to sit down turn on music turn on a Netflix show or whatever and actually take time to make the barn so promise me when I say this I'm gonna try my best to make them as often as possible for free barns at least but I really can't promise anything I really want to I want to be like oh I'll have a free barn every single month but sadly that's not all I do I have so many other tasks to do and yeah just so if you guys are like, uh-oh, don't want to do that. Just if you guys are like, oh, she she doesn't love us because she's not coming to you a free barn. No, I promise. I'm trying my best. I will try to make a free barn as often as possible. I was going to do like every season, like four barns a year, but it'll probably be more often than that, that you guys get barns. They just won't all be free. Oh my gosh, please stop destroying. Thank you. Hi, Jessica. Welcome. Bye, Joel. Drive safe. And Jessica also, since Jessica's here, I'll say it again, Jessica has offered to help with the barns. So we can create some cute barns. Jessica and I both, we got this. We'll keep the, the skillet slapping to a, a low. Can't promise no skillet slapping though. I'm gonna do it in the stream too. Do you guys know the skillet from Farmer's Delight? If you slap something with it, it actually like makes noise. Where's the nearest animal? I'm sorry, this is gonna be animal abuse for a second. Isn't that cool? <gasps> Why does it kill with two slaps? It did not kill with two slaps before, did it? Oopsies. Anyways, destroy the evidence. You guys didn't see that. Nothing happens. Um, we're gonna continue on. <laughs> we're not gonna cancel Peachy, okay? We're not gonna cancel her. She's trying her best. We've agreed on a, a purge day on the server that you guys have to hide your horses because Jessica will be released on the server with a skillet and with no rules whatsoever, no limitations. Peach is a murderer. She is. She is a murderer. Sorry. Hate to, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but Peachy is a murderer. 
me talking in third person like I'm not talking about myself. I'm sorry. Also put some peonies in there. Oh, this is lilacs. I'm sorry. I'm also going to be putting some lilacs in there. Totally know the difference. Fun fact, lilac is my favorite color. Well, it's like a tie between lavender and lilac, but lilac, don't don't tell lavender, but lilac is, is probably my favorite shade between the two. <gasps> no, please. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I accidentally equipped the sword. We're gonna get rid of that while I can. Hi, Alea. Peachy the Pig Slayer. That actually sounds kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. I don't- I don't mind being the Pig Slayer. I joined the Discord, I'm looking around. Welcome. Someone called PETA. No, please. Please, no. Also, I got this, like, um, Timothy- timothy hay like rolling ball the other day at the store and i didn't see it wasn't for hamsters like it doesn't say it's not for hamsters but it doesn't say it is does anybody own a hamster and can tell me if it's safe i don't i just i don't know i don't want to give me so anything that he can't have but like he loves enrichment like he loves playing around with his little woven balls in there and then he like chews through them and like the little the little wooden woven like enrichment balls it's like he loves them and I don't I've never had a hamster who actually likes using enrichments that I give them like they chew on them yeah but no he like he actually likes moving them like I wake up and they're in different places I'm like oh my god a ghost no it's miso it's miso being bored so if anybody has that with their hamster Please and thank you. I just, I don't have a rabbit, so I can't give it to a rabbit or a guinea pig. It's meant for rabbits and guinea pigs. My mom banned me from ever getting another hamster. We aren't going to ask why. I'm not going to ask. Every person I've met that says they're never owning a hamster again, I ask, how did your hamster die? Just curious. How did, how did it die? And they tell me the most out-of-pocket, gruesome, jaw-dropping, tear inviting death i have ever heard of of a rodent and i'm like how did that happen yeah how how i'm just i'm just curious i'm not shaming like you know if you're if your rodent dies like my first pair of hamsters died because they we forgot to feed them we went on a trip and i told my sister to feed them and she didn't feed them and now they're dead not her fault probably my fault but it was it was bad so i'm not like shaming anybody like i've i've had my fair share of oddly uh questionable hamster deaths but at the same time i'm just just curious how do some hamsters die like that i think mine would be the worst i'm not even going to talk about the stories i've heard because i feel like they would be too sensitive for this stream but i've heard some interesting ones one including a couch and like the the leg of the couch i'm not gonna go on with that one but oh my gosh Thankfully, haven't heard, like, a microwave one ever from anybody personal that I knew, so I haven't, haven't done that, but. Yeah, I do give miso Timothy Hay. I, like, uh, I take it and I twist it and break it up into pieces. So, yeah. Their hamsters vacuumed up? Oh, No! <laughs> that is horrible how do they how does it even i'm not gonna ask questions oh no it includes chocolate and a oh you were three no trust me i have some stories from when i was young with with rodents trust me. I, I don't blame you i don't blame you you were three years old you didn't know the difference it's okay it happens, you know. When I was three, I accidentally killed my sister's uh, pet, pet uh, hamster. His name was Peanut. Yep, my mom had to go back to the pet store and get an identical looking hamster and then bring it into class and then had to tell the teacher, hey, my other daughter, 
accidentally killed this hamster. Um, I don't remember it. Like my mom tells the story all the time and I'm like, I, I can't remember because I was three. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. So like, I understand. Yeah, no, the most I've heard is like someone who got two hamsters that were both males. Two hamsters shouldn't be put together regardless, even if they're litter mates. I had two female hamsters, they still fought. Thankfully didn't hurt each other. They just were seen scuffling. So we got them different cages. Um, but the one I heard was somebody left their hamsters alone for like a week with a pet sitter. And the pet sitter didn't even check if they were alive. They just kept on feeding them. And then one of the hamsters was not there when they got back. Parts of it were, but it was not. So that was the worst one I heard. Yeah. Oh, all this dying hamster talk makes me sad. No, Miso's about to turn one. I'm very excited. If you guys don't know who Miso is, he's my hamster. He's my little Robovorsky baby. Um, I got him in Georgia when I first went back to Georgia after Christmas break. Um, I got him from PetSmart. I've heard a lot of things about PetSmart of like, don't buy hamsters from there because they're just like from a hamster farm. They're just going to die in like a couple of months. And you know what? People may be right about it. Who knows? Somebody may be completely right about that. My hamster may die in a couple of months. I don't know. But at the same time, I love him to death. You know what the lady said when she opened up the cage? She was like, um, cause when she opened up the cage to let me look at the hamster, she said, Oh no, I don't, I don't think you want the, the one underneath the bedding. He's really shy. He doesn't like people. And I was like, well, now I want him. You know, when someone says you don't want this, I'm like, okay, well now I kind of want it, you know? So she was like, yeah, you don't want this hamster because he's scared and like scared hamsters tend to bite. So she was just warning me. She's like, I would not get him if in any way you were like scared of hamsters biting you. And I'm like, show me the hamster. And it was me. So Miso was, um, he's called a piebald, I believe. Let me look up a piebald hamster because I've done it before. Yep, he's known as a piebald hamster. It means that he has mostly white on him and then a little bit of brown. If you guys look up a piebald Robovorsky on Google Images, you will see images of basically Miso. Um, it's... It's not rare, but it's not common. Usually you see hamsters with like, um, like the strip of white on their bellies and like up until their, their armpits and elbows and then like the brown striped on their back. He does not have that. Do you have a Minecraft hamster? No, I have a real life hamster. <laughs> I don't think I can get a real life or a, a Minecraft hamster, but I can get rabbits. Where's the genetic rabbits? Look at them. They're so pretty. They're so cute. Those are meant to be lion heads, but I do not like how they're textured, but that's okay. Um, let me see really quick. We're going to go back to my place really quick. I think we're done building for today. We're going to go back to my place. I'm going to show you guys some updates. Let me... Um... Peachy, private. Wait, peachy, private. What else do I have to do? Run, TP. Sorry, I'm getting back to my world. Um, and let me see. Rachel just built her barn over here in my world. Um she built her little place. I'm not going to show anything. I don't want to show her barn unless she gives me permission. I'm going to keep my head down. I doubt she'd care, but look at my, look at my rabbit. Isn't it cute? Look at his little ears. It's my pet rabbit. I love it so much. Oh, you're so cute. I'm going to take you with me. Okay. We're going to, we're going to go flying. We're going to bring you to my place, to my ranch. Cause I feel bad cause she made a room to keep it in. <laughs> This is her cute little barn. I don't want to show too much of it. I did help design some of it. I'm gonna, oh. And then she has her horse and her cute little pastures and her arena. Okay, I'm gonna go slow with this rabbit because I want to bring it to the ranch. Um, this is the love of my life. 
I love this rabbit. I don't know. I don't connect often with pixelated animals, believe it or not, but I love this rabbit. It looks like miso, that's why I love it. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let me set... Okay, it's this way. Oh my god, yeah. I had a pet chicken as well. I completely understand. Don't kill it, Peachy. No, look at it. Can you guys see its little, like, pixelated shadow flying and soaring? I'm not going to kill it. I'm bringing it to my barn. Not intentionally, at least. I'm going to bring it to my ranch, and I'm going to... uh put it in water so that it doesn't die when it lands. You good? He's having a grand old time. I feel like this trip isn't going to end well. It's going to end fine. Everything's... <gasps> you jinxed it. Who said it? Who said it? I feel like this... Who, who said it? I'm reading right now. I'm gonna catch you. Anna. Anna Green. Anna Green, you better explain yourself. <laughs> oh no, I saw the little dust and I went, nah, that it can't be true. It lagged. My server lagged. <laughs> Anna, I'm calling you out. No, you're fine. You told me to, Jolie. You jinxed it first. You jinxed it first. <gasps> it's a little winter bunny okay guys don't worry i just i found a new muse i found a replacement that was horrible okay it's not my fault the server lagged even if it was even if it was below me it probably would have fallen off right <laughs> riley <laughs> riley i just killed my rabbit Quick, get the back up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I like how Riley doesn't join when I'm like praising her and Matt for like helping with the server. I'm like, Riley, Riley did all of this. She's so great. And then she joins when I accidentally murder my rabbit. Like what? What the hell? Please. Come on. You can do it, little rabbit. Look at how small it is. So cute replacement i'm kidding it's not its replacement it can't be i didn't even name it i didn't even get to name the rabbit how long are you gonna continue streaming i don't know i'm not sure i'm gonna go i'm gonna go put the rabbit in my house because it needs to be nice and warm oh my gosh do you guys see that actually i'm gonna put it in my office quick test can you like get underneath this oh crap you can okay we're gonna put doors in here we're going to put whitewash doors. Actually, I kind of want to use Macaw's doors since we have them, you know. I'm going to do a birch western door. Can you get under this? Good, you can't. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay, buddy. I'm sorry. I killed your killed your friend. Oh, that's a little albino. It has the red eyes. We're going to give you a bigger friend. Yeah, there's your there's your mom. No, I'm not your mom. That's your mom. I I can't I can't take care of you. I'm sorry. I mean I can, but like I can't be online all the time, you know. I feel like I'm having a casual conversation with a rabbit. I need to leave this game or I'm gonna go crazy. I don't think there's a recent backup PG. No worries. <laughs> it's okay. I was joking. Build a grave for Misa Rabbit. <sighs> I didn't <laughs> Another grave? Are you kidding me? Okay, we'll build a grave. Actually, what is it? The raked gravel? Oh, another grave on this ranch because Peachy can't lead animals in the air. Okay, I learned my lesson. I understand. I understand. Okay, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Sophia. Thank you for joining. 
I'm actually crying. That was so funny. It sounded at the same time. It really was. It's not okay. Okay, so get out of here, tall grass. I'm done with tall grass. Get out of here. Okay. Sign. We're gonna use a spruce sign. <laughs> Rachel babysat him and I killed him within minutes. Honestly, these these gravestones aren't even to mourn. They're just to shame me publicly at this point. I forgive you, Peachy. Thank you. Thank you. He shall rest peacefully next to Porky. Actually, Porky is all the way over here. I'm going to have like a spread out graveyard. This whole place is going to be a graveyard by the time I move more animals in. Oh my gosh, panda. Panda, 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 panda. Here's your daily cake. Eat your daily cake. Take your daily cake. Oh my gosh, stop being dramatic and eat the cake right now. I care for you. I, I literally spoil you. Every single day. Please. Thank you. Oh my gosh, why, the, why is that so dramatic? You. You quit your noises. I'm tired of you complaining. I have to clean out this pasture so bad. Why is there so much snow? There should not be this much snow in this pasture. It's like layered on. Did I actually put this much snow in here? Oh, this horse has no rug on. I forgot to take care of this horse. I'm not going to lie. I need to put a rug on it. You're going to have one I post on the server due to all the gravestones. I know. When you replace this box, sound like the Home Depot theme, huh? Really? I need to. I feel like I need to play back and listen now. Okay. Everyone. Oh my gosh. I need to stretch before I say the outro. Oh, we have 73 people. I'm ending with 73 people. I feel bad. Oh, you guys have been so sweet today. We went up a good bit in donations. We still have two weeks though before December ends but even if I don't match my donation goal or like reach it this month that is okay I don't mind um I don't put it there to reach it I just put it there to have a goal so you guys helping me even get close to reaching it is really supportive thank you guys also thank you to those who gifted and also became members today you guys have been so so sweet today um I will be streaming hopefully tomorrow um I'll go ahead and put a poll on my community tab, but I'll probably be streaming tomorrow for the Red Dead Online trail ride with everyone. But yeah, um, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. If you guys have any Christmas gifts or Christmas ideas you guys want to send, my P.O. box is open. I also have a thrown wish list. I'm going to be doing giveaways uh, the 23rd and the 25th. So hope you guys can make it to those as well. Um, yeah. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe and warm and hydrated. And I will see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye, everyone. Merry early Christmas. Goodbye, goodbye. Also, I just realized there's no music going. That's so awkward. <laughs> goodbye, guys. <laughs>